got bats going all the way back from 1930. Good player, this player. Good player. <laughs> In fact, 1902. Mr. Cricket comes down. A lot of love for Mark. Oh, this is what it feels like, Howie, when you're walking out to bat in Australia. Come on. Let's Come get on, Howie here on the ground. Come on, Howie. <laughs> Take the new ball on. on the ground. The uh, guys have got to walk backwards, so got to be a bit careful coming down here. The sun has come up, uh, out. Looks very, very nice down here. So we've got bats from a long time, June. We've got some of your yeah, bats. So yeah. in your career, how much did bats change? Uh, a fair bit from when I first played to the end of my career. They got a lot thicker. Uh, they got a bit of a bow in them. Um, so, yeah, they, they got, definitely got larger. So at the start of my career, you had to be a good player to hit them off the square, actually. And for you, cricket, you, you, you had that illegal one. You had carbon on the back of one yeah. of your bats. Cookborough had the carbon fibre on the back of the bat. They were magnificent. But, yeah, I agree. I think my first few bats were very thin. Uh, and then they just seemed to get a lot bigger. Uh, the technology got better. The edges got bigger. A bit of a bow was always nice as well. And... Uh, yeah, I was a bit specific so that, with my bat. That six I hit at the Whacker, if I had a bat these days, that would have been in the Swan River. <laughs> in the Swan River, you <laughs> think? It would have been. Only what? one bloke's hit the roof at Marble Stadium. Yeah, that's, that's you. you. Yeah. Right. What we are going to attempt to do is use the current Fox cricket technology to track the path of the ball and then Hustle give us an indication about what's different with the bats. Uh, whether this all works or not, uh, I don't know. But we've got the bats over here. Robbie's signalling okay. over here. So we've got right. some bats we can use, some bats we can't use. So I've got my sheet of here of what all the bats are. All right, come over. Come right. over to my table. Here we go. Your table. So this is the first bat. So this is J Wisden and Co made in London. Wooden bat, twine handle. You see it well, Gav. It's made in 1902, this one. So you just have a feel of that one, Huss. It's got it's signatures on the back it? by Trumper, Sid, Gregory, etc. There's the signature on the back. So what's your general thoughts when you see that? So this bat is 120 years old. It's obviously had a fair bit of uh, oil sort of put on it over the years. So it definitely looked, a right-hander would have used it. See how it's sort of curled a bit here at the bottom? So the right-hander would have tapped don't, that. Don't bit. touch it on the ground. <laughs> Can we not use this one? Well, you, no, no, you can't. Use, and you're not meant to touch the handle. Maybe just touch the blade of that one. Oh, no, we can't use the handle of that one. It's pretty thin. Bit of lint suit oil there. Yep. Yeah, so okay. that's the 1902. Put it down. Now this one. You need to come and see this one. So this is a Sykes bat. Now Sykes apparently made the bats for Don Bradman. So this was from the 1930s. And when they approached Bradman, from all reports about this bat, they put his name on there to try and get him on board. He loved the bat, but he didn't like the fact his name was on it. So they took the name off when he started using the bat. So it's signed, and look on the back. Now yeah, there's Don some Bradman history there. for you. Hold it up to the camera there, June. Don so Bradman. that has got the great Don Bradman's so don't signature drop it on it. Don't drop it. that one. So it, it's that. unsure whether he used this in a match or not. So what's your general feeling about that bat? A bit of a bow in it, actually, Huss. Um, yeah, no, nah, not, not a favourite of mine, but <laughs> back in those days, it's probably not too bad. Look, the grain's nice and straight. You can see the grain running you straight Between about there. eight and 12 grains, yeah, don't you? Yeah, that's what you sort of want. So the grain hasn't changed too much over the years, uh, so that's pretty good, but... A little, bit of a, bow, a little bit of a bow. Not too bad. Pretty good shape. What about shape. the history you're holding but in your very, hands, though? Very light. Very yeah. light. Bradman used a very light Now, bat. just put it down and be careful. Can I, can <laughs> just, I whack a couple no, of that one? No, you can't. Can have a hit with that one? No, you Come on. That. I want to keep this one. You can't use that. <laughs> <laughs> now, this one, you can't touch the handle in all seriousness. So this is a Peter Philpot autograph. Peter Philpot. Yeah, oh. so the... the Grey Nichols. Yeah, so it's... Grey Nichols. Have a look at this. You can you can touch this one, but but don't touch the handle. So this this is from 1963. It's signed on the back by the South Africa and New South Wales team. I love about it. It says here on New the South back... Wales. Care of bats. Use the cricket bat oil. Apply sparingly once a month. But have a look at the, the Grey Nichols here. Look at this, Junior. The, the little yeah, logo the little and logo, stuff. logo, yeah. So that, that's a cracker. Um, can't, don't, touch can't touch the handle. Can't touch the handle of that gonna one. What's going to happen so, if we do? Um, <laughs> trouble. <laughs> trouble. 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 Okay. Trouble. Okay. Trouble. Yeah, that's a nice bat. I don't want to touch too much that one. Yeah. Now this one, you can touch the handle of this. Jesus. Remember when they used to Clive talk? Lloyd? Well, they used to talk about Clive Lloyd, the man from Guyana, used to have extra grips. Have a look Hell. at the width. <laughs> now, James, give this? yourself. That's Clive Lloyd's bat. So that is a this is Clive, Clive Lloyd's, Lloyd's grey nickel scoop. Have a look at that. So that was used in Australia in the 1970s. So tell us about the legend uh, of, of the, the handle and the grips that he well, used to do. The, the grip is so thick. I feel like I should be out in a, a rowboat, you know, rowing with this. <laughs> um, but there's the single scoop. So beautiful signature grey nickels back, back in the day uh, on the front, Clive Just, Lloyd. Look, get them to show you how, how thick it is around the handle there. Well, like it's that, very that's, thick. It must I mean, have big hands, big Clive. To that, 
Good yeah. dude. Wow, I had big mitts on in Clive. <laughs> big mitts I, I on think him. the uh, the really thick handle. That, that obviously you had big hands, yep. but also it's to help with the pick up of the bat. If you have a big thick handle, it means there's more weight at the top. Yep. Theoretically, the bat should pick up a little bit lighter because he, he used pretty heavy bats. But also the scoop, I think they uh, took out a bit of the wood, again, to try and make it a little bit lighter so the bat would pick up a little bit nicer. But that, Can't that, use that either. That's ridiculous. Oh, really? I can hardly can't, get my hands no, around that. Yeah, there's that. I've got no feel for that bat there. That's, put, put that one down. Put that's that one. that's now, too this, heavy anyway. That's, that's, nah, that's this plank. was used, this bat, <laughs> the... Uh, the batter was obviously looking for a sponsor. Apparently, it's a grey nickels, but it was used in the centenary test by this man right here. We go to the commentary box. Kerry, this oh, is your bat from the centenary test. Tell us about this bat, and were you looking for a bat sponsor? I was. 46 years that bat, bat's been alive, and I'm still without a sponsor. <laughs> Apparently, somebody said, if you can hit one off the square skull, we will use a sticker. There so this goes. is you walking out with that bat at the top, Kerry? Yes. And, oh, look at that. Man, Through the slips. Away. That's the strongest I could hit Nicely it. Nicely guided. My wagon wheel was all behind the wicket. Now, and Kerry, the I running have... between the wickets was be not as good either. I, ha I have a question for you, Kerry. We haven't been able to use any of the other bats. C can we use this as the first test dummy? Can we use your bat? It's an absolute cannon, boys. Okay. And, and the, the, a cannon. And, yeah, it's a cannon. That that strapping there, that was not because Very I hit it in the middle. I just put that on so that bowlers thought I'd been middling a few. <laughs> <laughs> All right, paint a few cherries. Go. We appreciate it right. This is the first one we're going to use. Okay. Can you use this one? Now, what we need to do, we're going to attempt to use the Fox technology to get an indication of what Huss is doing with these different bats. So, Jacko, we need the balls. Huss, you need to come over here. All right, we need to take the jacket off. Uh, assume oh, the batting position. Gee, the pitch looks a little bit rough here, Howie. Now, so, which way are you hitting? So, uh, Huss is hitting out that way, where there's no children on the ground. Now, June, to make the technology work, you have to be at least a pitch, half the pitch away. Hang on, Howie, I can't hit it. The South Africans are doing some fitness work out there. I'll, I'll you, try and aim you, straight. You won't hit it that far, Huss. You'll Mate, be fine. So, okay, we've got to remember, I'm hitting into a massive gale oh, no. here, too. Can the I have breeze a massive gale. So, so what, what we'll do, the way we're going to set this up so you understand what's happening, it'll take about 20 seconds for the technology to kick in. So we'll have a chat about the bat, and you tell us when you felt you've timed one, okay. and that's the one we'll use. All right. All right, so uh, this is the centenary test bat. Where would you like it? What just sort just of height? Just around here is, is All right. fine. Okay. So there we go. Are we ready? Are we ready to go. Huss. Watch your head, Junior. Oh, Huss. Yeah, count that one. That count that one. All right, Mate. bring the monitor over here, boys, so we can have that, a look at it. That so, is good. What do you, come down here, June. All right, that looks good. What are good. your thoughts? We're doing the analysis. So okay. right out of the middle. Oh, no, I think I got it up a little bit high, maybe up around here somewhere. Just jarred in my hands oh, a little bit. I thought that was all right. Um, it didn't go as far as what I was kind of hoping, but, oh, uh, yeah, it we, didn't sound too bad. This is skulls, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Can we get Colin Munro or Chris Lynn to use my <laughs> bat? <laughs> this is the furthest it's This absolute ball, plotter. <laughs> So, so how, how did it feel to use? It, it, it felt a little bit jarry in the hands, oh, I must admit. Oh, come uh, on. But it's, it's a nice, nicely weighted bat skull, I must admit. Maybe if I got it a little bit lower, it would have gone oh, a bit further, but uh, yeah. pretty good, pretty good. Oh. And you're, you're definitely hitting with the breeze as well. So uh, to the breeze. Swirling, we'll, we'll, actually. We'll get an indication. So this is the centenary test bat that Kerry used. Yeah. We'll get the technology up. Uh, while we're waiting for the technology, I'm going to go and grab the other bat. Right. You guys stay here. It's going a bit... 40 metres? <laughs> 50? <laughs> Probably. Oh. Into the wind, though, remember? Yeah, into the wind. Right, so the technology is kicking it up. You hold that one there, Huss. This is the next bat we're going to use. Am I allowed to use this one? All right, let's have a look. Let's have a look. We'll have a look on the monitor here. Just get that use this one. Down. It's got all the um, autographs on it. There you go. So yours went 53 metres oh. with Kerry's bat. Okay. That's all right. A yes or a no for you with that bat? Uh, what, as in? Yeah, do you like it? Oh, yeah, it wasn't too bad, but oh, um, I'm I don't hoping want to be... that uh, the newer bats are going to oh. go a little bit further. OK. Thank oh. you, Kerry. Now we move on to the Grey Nichols. Queensland and Australia, Greg Chapel edition. So this is an early 1980s bat. This is not going to go anywhere. I'm well, sure it's got a lot of autographs on there. Look how thin it is. But, uh, so this is the early 1980s. All right, Huss, I let's have a go with this one. This is as good as it was This is not one. going anywhere, I don't think. You're actually hitting into the wind too, I reckon, yeah, Huss. Yeah, I told around you. Around I told okay. you Huss, you ready? The early 1980s. Oh, no, nah, didn't get that one. Didn't get it? OK. Come on, let's go again. Go again, Jacko. Sorry, it's a bit low the throw. That's Sorry, right. Huss. Oh, that's it. Oh, that has gone nowhere. <laughs> That'll do. In we come, June. About 25, 30 metres, I reckon. All right, let's get a good look at the bat. 
What, what are your thoughts on that one? Uh, it's it's really it feels like a twig. If I'm being honest, it's it's really light. Um, it's sort of pretty pl pretty plain, but I think I got that right up here somewhere. Didn't even get it. Pro probably hit it about here, yeah. so it should have gone a bit further than what it did. But it's just no. It feels like, feels like there's no weight behind that at all. Nah, nah. Move that one on. I think we can get rid of this one. Yeah. Although, a couple of good autographs. autographs on there. Steve, Steve Waugh, Waugh. Shane Warne. You're there. Mark Waugh. Ian Healy. John. Who's that? John Dyson. John Dyson. Jeff Lawson. Oh, right. Doug Wallace. Okay. Yeah. We're getting let's, that one. Okay. Get now this is the next one. We'll get the technology on that one in a moment. This feels a little bit better. But this is the next one we're using. Okay. So this is the first of the scoops made famous by Greg Chappell in the 70s and 80s. What's it say on the back here, Huss? A non-oil bat? What's it say about the bat? Uh, yeah, non-oil non bat. Polyarmor, is it? Covered or? with polycoated, poly covered and polycoated bats. Slowly knock in using a cricket ball or a mallet. Remember the okay. old mallets? This actually feels like it's got a bit more weight behind it. All right, let's have a look at the original GN. This is the GN100. Oh, or just a 40 <laughs> metre up. And didn't feel so good. No, nah, that didn't feel too good at okay. all. Okay, so in the hands we're not happy well. with the initial grey nickels, but now we've got the famed grey nickel scoop as made famous by Greg Chappell. All right, Huss, all right, what have you got right. for us? I'll give you Seven a nice delivery here, Huss. Thank you. Oh, oh, no, he shanked it. Sorry, sorry. He shanked it. Shanked that's a that bad, bad ball. Kid. Don't bad that ball. One. He wants it a little bit lower. Bad ball, that's it. Oh, that's Oh, better. yeah. Oh, that's like nice. it. A little bit better. Chance for catching the outfield. Oh, oh, oh no. Is that slats out no, of the One more, one more. One more. I get that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 No, you hit that well, Huss. That's, that's, that's large. Yeah, take that one. That's All right. big. Give us, his, give us your review on the Grey Nichols GN scoop. Extra cover. I think the scoop is good actually. It just sort of helps with the balance of the bat. It still feels like there's a fair bit of wood in this bat. It feels pretty thick, um, but nicely balanced. For, so, pretty good pickup because of that scoop. Well, what's the theory behind the, the scoop? It's just to take some weight out of the back, I feel, just yeah. to balance it out a bit. Yeah. So, it doesn't feel like it's picking up really heavy. It picks up a bit lighter, and then you can feel like you can swing it a bit easier. It'd be but good yeah. on the reverse sweep to get it off the scoop. Okay, well, well, look look out. They, had, look they out. had the butterfly, didn't they? And they yeah, had the twin the, the scoop. Twin scoop. Twin you, you scoop. keep talking about the scoop. I'll go and get the next bat. Yeah, well, it, I don't know. What do you reckon? It Mate, felt like a pretty good bat that, to me. That come off all right. Yeah, that, that, that actually feels all right. As Harry Solomons would say at Kings Grove Sports Centre, that is a cannon, mate. <laughs> <laughs> right, here's the result. Roll the videotape, Gav. So this is the GN scoop. Oh, not too bad. 66 metres. 73 kilometres an hour was the speed. The distance, 66 metres. Similar height. All, the, all of them have been about 13 metres high. Is that the best one you've used so far? Definitely. That's the clubhouse leader? Yeah, I think all so. Right. So at North Sydney Oval last night, that would have been into the stands. Oh, that was a huge six. Gene yeah. Scoop, clubhouse leader at this stage. All right. We can't use this bat. Hang on, Jim. Oh, we can't oh, use this bat. this is bat. ABs. Yeah, but this. Whose is that one? This was a special edition. You can see down the bottom here, can you see very close there? This is 763. I think only a thousand were made. That, so this was a commemorative bat when Alan Border yeah. broke the world record for the most number of runs at 11,174. He's he your mind. hero. He won't mind. No, Come on. I don't this, think, this would be a dream no, come I don't true think for we me. Can use this bat. Come on. I tell you what I loved about the Duncan Fernley. I was a slashing man, but yep. the stickers were classy. Yes. Duncan Fernley, weren't they? Look at that. Beautiful. He's your hero. He's my hero. Do you yeah. think we can use his bat? Just have a little on, tap let's, of let's it. Have Come a little tap. We're going to get in trouble. Oh, I feel it's good. Done. That's enough. That's enough. <laughs> right. no, that more, that no more tapping. Give me that. Right. No, mate, no, that no, is no, a cannon, mate. That, that, that. All right, get rid of that, that one. That actually because... feels really nice. Yeah, come on, Huff. <laughs> now, Robbie, all right. Now, June, these, this is an early bat for you. Yeah, Tell us about is. when you've used well, this. Well, it's an early career bat. Um, it's so got what Kings Grove Sports talking? Centre on the back. Mate, I'd say the late 80s, early 90s. I've maybe had a little bit of uh, wood shaved off the back, just looking at the colour of it. But, um, so have you just used this in test cricket? Um, uh, definitely first class cricket. Test cricket, not so sure, maybe. All right, let's have a go at it. So this is the V100, uh, 100. So V100. What, so what got a couple of years? I'd what? say early, late 80s, early 90s. Okay, late 80s, early 90s. A Mark War special. Feels a little bit longer, actually. It what? is a long blade. Long blade? Long blade, yep. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 that's got something. We'll take that one. Just a bit high, sorry, oh. Hush. Okay, one more, one more. Oh, one more, one more then. Oh, yes. That's nice. How that that feel? Yeah, pretty good. Ooh. So tell us about that blade. Uh, tell, and June, tell us about the, the longer blade setup you've got going there. Yeah, it well, definitely I, feels, when I tap it down, it feels it feels well, a little bit longer. Because I stood up quite tall on my stance, it just felt more comfortable, so I wasn't crouching. So 
slightly longer blade, normal size handle, so a longer blade. I needed a wider blade rather than a longer, but we'll, but we'll take the longer blade. The other thing, the handle looks a little bit different. Like in most bit, of the other uh, bats I've had have been rounded, but this has got more of an oval sort yeah, of handle. Yeah, felt, felt, felt better in my I hands. I really like an oval handle. Like yeah. It just feels like it fits nicely on that bottom Yeah, it sort of fits there. into the V in your hands a yeah. lot nicer. Okay, so we're happy with the V100. Pretty nice bit of wood there too. Yeah. Well, the results are coming in. Where, how many bats do you still have at home? How many would you oh, have? I've got about eight, ten. Eight bats, yeah. okay. About sort of nine nine grains going down there. They run nice and straight down the bat. Probably like a bit more of a bow in it, to be honest. Let's have a look. pretty flat, yeah. In those days, it was, that was the way it was. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Oh, 76 metres, launch angle 90, the launch speed Ooh. 92, so a good middle on that one. Yep. Yeah, it's the furthest that's gone. So I should have made more runs, is that what you're saying, Howard? Well, no, no, I'm not saying that at all. <laughs> now, I've got some good news for you. This is a true story. The trust that gave us some of the older bats have called through and they said, go for your life oh. with the AB Duncan Fernley. So you're allowed to have a hit with the I'm AB Duncan Fernley. This, I don't think this has ever hit a ball, so no, it's not so going to be knocked in. This is the special edition, Ooh, Alan Border, nice and, well, and, and Mike's hero, Michael's a right-handed batsman, well, went left-handed because of his love for Alan Border. have to give the old, you know, the old uh, <laughs> AB <laughs> shuffle across yeah. as well. Here, here we go. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> The Duncan Fernley. Oh, oh no. no, he's towed it. it. Towed, he's towed it. it. You've let your hero down there. Sorry. Sorry, a bit low, Huss, a bit low. Oh, oh look at not that. Not too bad. No, you haven't milled that. Haven't okay. got that. Huss, more I think you're trying to hit it too hard. Okay, thanks, Coach. Just loosen up a bit, you know. Thanks, Coach. Oh. Well, yeah, think, great. Not too bad. All right, run us through that one. What did you think? Um, yeah, I think there's a... Got it close to the middle there. I think one of them came out around about there. It's the first time it's been hit, hit with a cricket ball, so um, you'd yeah, expect it to be a little bit hard. hard. Yeah. Come over to the table, because we're getting tight for time, so Normally we're not going to be able to, to, be able to use all our bats, but uh, we can talk through what we've got. So we've got, this is at the end of your career, June, so yes. just show us the difference between the two sort well, of slayers and just there. Well, I think, um, so uh, this was at the start of my career, so it's a, not as thick a wood through the whole bat, um, and this is the back end of my career. When I finished playing for Australia, I played a couple of seasons with New South Wales. So this was the last couple of seasons of my career. You can see it's got a bit more meat through the bat and it's got a real bow to it. So it's a bit thicker uh, on the edges as well and more of a bow, which is a very common theme in bats these days. You know, you get that nice shape in it. Um, it looks, feels good in the hand, looks good in the hand. It's a very simple bat, just a, a, no, a nice normal shape. No scoops or twins. What sort of weight did you used to use? Uh, about about 2.9, 2.10. Here's uh, the result of the Duncan Fernley so AB. Let's have a look. So, 66. At 85, went 66. Now, we've got a couple of other bats here. So this is, a, hold this one up, June. This is a, a, a Grey Nichols. This is Simon Kadich used this. Right. Made 77 not out first India in 2004. So at, at this stage, the bats are not changing a great deal. This is where it changes, June. So this is a Michael Clark, circa 2013. And just show people how, how the bat well, has all of a sudden changed. I mean, look how fat the, the edges are. And through the meat of the bat, through the middle of the bat, there's a lot of wood there. And even though there's more wood in the bats, they're not heavier. Uh, somehow they compress the wood um, to, a, to a nice sort of light weight, uh, you know, about eight grains on there, but so much more wood um, towards, uh, I, think I guess. They, I think they can dehydrate these a bit more to make them, so they can make them a, a little bit lighter. bigger and, and lighter. And, and the difference is with the big edges, um, even if you hit the ball, say, towards the side of the bat or the edge of the bat, it'll still travel a bit further. Whereas if you've got one of these thinner edged bats, yeah. if you hit it on the edge, it, it won't travel as far. Right, we're getting tight for time. This is, I think this is a David Warner, the Bull 31. We'll hit it now. Okay. This is the current bat, then we'll go to a break and we'll bring you the results. So this Ooh. is a David Warner bat. How does it feel in the hands? That feels like a good... It looks big in their thick. hands. Thick, thick, um, and it picks up really light as well. So it looks like it's been worn in nicely. So hopefully this should go a fair bit. Watch the ball. Don't try and hit it too hard. All right, all right coach. Water hussy. No. Oh, yes. Another Toad one. it. Another one. Keep your shape, keep your shape. Come on, Huss, this is the big gun bat. No, too no. flat. One more, one more. Sorry, Howie. It's all right. right. Oh, no, no. one more again. again. <laughs> Join it a bit faster. Last no, one, right. we're out of time. Yes, watch out in the crowd. Oh. That's the biggest of the lot. We'll take a six. break, we'll give you the results the next. Huss is finished with a six off the last six. ball. End Up the next, the results of Boy, the great. 2023 bat test. The big bat test of 2023. The leading contender is Mark Wars V100 at 76 metres. Before the break, 
The big cannon from David Warner with the bull 31. Let's have a look. Has to beat 76 metres. 81. Oh, so hus. The newest bats are the biggest and most powerful bats. Yeah, and if I'm being honest, I actually don't reckon I got one right out of the middle with this one either, and it still travelled, how far did you go? 80 odd metres. 81 right. metres. That's Whereas, a good hit. But your bats did feel quite nice, Junior, I must yeah, admit. Yeah, so I definitely should have made should more have runs. Should have made more runs, yeah. definitely. That's, that's the moral of the story. <laughs> Take a break, you can have that. Trust said you can have the AB special, oh, you can oh, keep that one. Thank so you. Oh, up next, one. live play Australia. Two for 266. Smith's on 59, Kawaja's on 108. Well done to our two crash test dummies well, as well. Mark Hussey.